We are Northwestern Lehigh and we visited Sharp Packaging to find out what's so cool about manufacturing. Hi, my name is Tom Deutsch. I'm Director of Human Resources. Uh, I've been with Sharp for 17 years now. Uh, we are a contract manufacturing company, so we don't make any product, we just put products together. Uh, we have about 150 different customers. We deal with all the major pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies in the United States and overseas. Uh, we, in the Allentown campus, we, are, we have two center of excellences, one for bottling and one for biotech. So we, uh, we package product, we get it in uh, from the customers, and then we package it and get it out. Uh, the most gratifying thing that we do here is that we get the product in that we get out to the patient. So when we're packaging product, we're looking at packaging product for our family members, relatives, uh, neighbors. And a lot of our drugs are cancer treating drugs that are, are treating people and hopefully uh, it's saving lives. My name is Tyler Reyes. I'm a production supervisor here at Sharp. I've been here for three years. Actually, uh, I've made my third year anniversary yesterday. Uh, went to uh, high school, William Allen High School, and uh, went to the Sales University for uh, my bachelor's. What do you do here? Uh, production supervisor. So I manage the floor on Pershift for the bottle line COE. Why did you choose your job? Well, it kind of chose me, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I would ever be here. I studied criminal justice in college and ended up being here uh, through some colleagues, basically. Does technology take a big impact on what you do here? Uh, certainly. Uh, we have equipment here which certainly helps us uh, improve our manufacturing process in regards to our packaging. So it definitely has a, a big aspect for the company. What do you think your most useful machine is here? Uh, the employees. <laughs> the humans. They're the, they're the best machines we have because without that uh, we wouldn't have anything to be honest. 